It's not one thing, it's the other. Okay, here we go. We got some sound. All right, can y'all hear me now? Let me know if you can hear me. Hello, Nisha. Hello, La Nisha. Oh, we got a Nisha and a, a Nisha. All right. Y'all should be able to hear me now. Let me know if you can. Man, people's screens going black. Are you serious right now? Hello, Unicorn Bear Gaming. Can y'all hear me now? Let me know if you can hear me. Okay, cool. All right, great. So, welcome. Y'all know how it is. I hate lives because I can't edit the first part. So when people watch the live after I upload it, don't nobody watch the video because the front end be so messed up. But it is what it is. Lives are much easier. Welcome to the show. Please like and subscribe. If you're in here right now, hit that like button. It's free and it's easy. And you get some arm and finger exercise when you hit that like. So let's go on and hit that thing. Chunkies. First day of school was the day. She's exhausted. She's passed out in her room. And uh, so she's chilling for the day. So it's just me again by my lonesome. Today was actually supposed to be um, uh, Shalaski's Calzone. But I don't feel like all them carbs. Like, that's a lot of stuff, man. Doing this channel done made me gain some weight, too. I don't know. I ain't gained like 10 pounds. It's trash. But I do this, guys, for you guys. Okay, I'll turn the music down just a little bit. Hold on. There we go. All right, that's great. That's great. All right, so Popeyes and copied um Arby's with a hush puppy coated food. So now they got the hush puppy coated uh what is these called shrimp? I ordered the surf and turf. They just done gave me the surf. And let me check my receipt. They just gonna give me the shrimp dinner. The dude didn't hear me, but I clearly said surf and turf, but here it do say the shrimp. So this is an AP shrimp, so I got scammed because I wanted to see what uh, hush puppy coated chicken tastes like. So here we go. This is what it is. Now it's looking really good, and it's looking way better than what Arby's little fish sticks was looking like, so I'm not mad at this. And I'm very excited. Now, I love their french fries, but guess what? I don't really get them all the time because I like Popeye's coleslaw. That's right. I'm a coleslaw connoisseur. The top-notch best coleslaw is KFC. Hands down, there's no coleslaw on the planet Earth. When I say the planet Earth, even in Jupiter, nowhere in the galaxy is a coleslaw better than KFC's. And I also got their banana cream pie. I, I saw um mine and Aaron's video and he had did the cream pie and that's what made me go to Popeye's. So I was like, man, I could do that. And uh, it's looking very banana cream pie-ish, but we really not gonna know what it's gonna look like until we can, you know, sit down with it and uh, dig into it. But I'm gonna say that for last. Now, I love Popeye's biscuits, but guess the way, the only way I like it, I only like it when it's crumbled up in the coleslaw, because that's the only way you can eat it, because it's too dry. So I need the moist, I need this to soak up the moistness of the coleslaw, okay? This is how you really eat a Popeye's biscuit. You mix it in there, nice and lovely. Y'all see that? Mmm. Tastes tastic. If you have not tried this before, if you got some hate in your heart, go on and release it. Go to Popeyes and try it yourself. Now, I didn't get any sauce. Hello, Devon. Oh, uh, Devon Deliverance. So I didn't get any sauce with this meal because I literally completely forgot to ask for some. Okay. All right. So here we go. I'm about to try this. Let's see how tasty it is because we know it's gonna be tasty. It smells delicious. This smells like shrimp and hush puppies already. It already do. So, I'm already going to give this a, just for smell and presentation. It's already getting this in. Here we go. One of those trays. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 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 Yo, y'all. And I'm not hungry. Which we going to talk about. Because that's what sucks about this channel. 
I'm be honest with y'all. I feel like doing a lot of that. I ate this morning. I ate me some steak and some Brussels sprouts and some asparagus, which I cooked myself. Y'all want to see what it looked like? Cause it was fire. Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all how I cooked it. Hold on, cause y'all ain't ready for this jelly right here. Oh, I'm gonna also show y'all what the kids look like this morning. Here, that's what the kids look like on their way to school. You see that? See that happiness and that gleefulness in Junior's face? Too cool for school, baby. All right. Now, let me show y'all my steak I made. Oh, yeah. I cut Junior hair, too. Y'all didn't know I had them skills. Let me show you the back. That back fade I hooked him up with. That's right. All local neighborhood dead skills there. That is right. All right. Now, let me show y'all my steak and uh, asparagus I cooked. Man, I sure do be taking a lot of screenshots. So this was the before, okay? This is what we started with. Wait, hold on. Let me get that focus. That's what we started with, right? Then, boom! I had them steaks looking oh so great. Nice and medium, as they should be. It should have been medium rare, but I kept them on there too long. Boom! I sauteed them good old Brussels sprouts. Y'all ain't ready for that jelly. And then, of course, had to get them asparagus popping. You see the photo bomb from the steak, because that's how I get down. When I start doing um, our memberships, I'm going to be cooking for y'all and, uh, you know, doing what I do. Let me go on and get some of my good coleslaw, and because um, you got to let it soak up for a minute, too. You can't just, like, put it in there. You got to let it soak up in here. Mmm. It's kind of like a biscuit coleslaw bread pudding. Mmm. -hmm 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 -hmm. Man. I gotta say, um, second place coleslaw is definitely Popeyes, followed up by Long John Silver's and Captain D's. If it is not hood. Because I went to this hood Captain D's. I went back to Little Rock. Man, I went to my favorite Captain D's in that city. The only one left. And apparently they don't follow the corporate laws of the Captain D's no more. Because that fish was not no Captain D's fish. I was upset. Angie and Divine Deliverance, if y'all eat Domino's or Jack in the Box, I'm going to need y'all to fix y'all's face. Okay? Mmm. Y'all missing out. It's delicious. But this shrimp, and see, it's not like with um Arby's where it was all like half cooked on the inside. No. It's cooked fully through. This is a really good decision. And see what sucks is this is so good. I want them to keep this on the menu, but they not. They're not gonna keep this on the menu. And we probably not gonna see this for decades later. It definitely tastes like a hush puppy wrapped shrimp. That's what this tastes like. Eight bajillion times better than Arby's BS that they had. Man, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what it looked like without the shrimp stuff on it. Well, I can't because it's too well bonded on there. Yo, y'all can talk about these shrimp if you want to, the look, but these are delicious. Here, a regular one. There you go. For you, um, superficial eaters out there. They had this before. How they had this hush puppy on the shrimp before? What? I've been missing out on this every year? Man. I'm upset. I need to start running some. Well, see, I don't watch nothing. They got commercials. The only thing, the only app I got that got commercials is Hulu. And if I could pay for that to not have commercials, I would, but 
I don't even got to think they got no non-commercial tier, which I really think is intrusive on my civil rights because I don't want to get sold nothing when I'm watching something. I just want to watch it. Hey, KB, KB. Hey, my Linda Ivy. You so fine. So what's the one word to describe how it would define the taste? Extravagant. That's the word. Man, they need to have this year round. Okay, here we go. Here when they got broke through. Now look at this. Now I'm showing y'all this because that that look like they soaked that shrimp got soaked in some premeditated marinade, some type of red stuff. This is too good. I'm highly upset that I ain't been known about this. I don't know what happened to that lady. They probably laid her off when COVID came. Because, you know, companies had to, you know, pull back on them purse strings. So, she probably she probably in um, on unemployment now. Hey, Ralph. I bet you dolphin tastes delicious. And I know for a fact it do because I eat a lot of starfish, um, star kiss, um, albacore, white albacore. That's the only kind of tuna fish I can eat. Tuna, I'm I'm sure I have ate my share of dolphin, and I'm sure it was delicious. Dolphin, Carla. <laughs> Angie, what you be eating, Angie? Tell me what you be eating, because you be hating. What you be eating? What is extravagant to you? Is any restaurant extravagant, or is you a chef? Are you a chef, Angie? Because you want to know something? I'm about to go on a little tirade about Americans and self-hate. We are the most self-hating country I have ever been to in my life. We the only country that hates on our native food, okay? McDonald's is American, 100% American. It's one of the few things we didn't steal from another culture, okay? Well... Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Even though I gotta do some research about hamburger. Did it come from Hamburg, Germany? I don't know. Anyway, I know a Big Mac didn't come from Germany. It came from America. We hit on everything that was originated here. Fast food was originated here. And when it first came out, before they had all the good chemicals, and y'all be hating on chemicals, but chemicals are delicious. They are. They are made by the dopest food scientists and psychologists to give us the best ratio of sugar, fat, and salt that our bodies can handle. And y'all be hating on it. Hating. But then, somebody come from out the country with a little all natural food and next thing you know, that's the greatest thing ever. Prejudice. Look at your own food. Domino's, yes, we should burn. They should be boycotted, okay? Jack in the box, of course, what? They shouldn't even exist. It needs to be a class action lawsuit against both of them. And Chipotle, too. Chipotle is maybe the top trashiest place I ever ate in my life. But since it's not American, y'all act like it's the bomb. Same thing with Five Guys, they trash, too. But they American, though. You can, Mona Aaron. You definitely can. Because it is a delicacy. Chick-fil-A is extravagant. Let's be real. And if the food ain't, the service is. I done got better service in a Chick-fil-A than I have four or five star restaurants. And that's facts. Let me make me some more of my um, coleslaw bread pudding. <laughs> Let me see. Wait, I can get this year round for thirteen dollars, Angie. Is that what you're saying? Jack in the box tacos are not good, 
definitely cheap, and they shouldn't even be classified as tacos. What are you talking about, Angie? How you eating Jack in the Box and even got a, a an opinion about anything food wise? Jack in the Box is the. Let me tell you about how bad Jack in the Box is. Okay, I can't even put into real life words of what Jack in the Box how bad it is. All I know is it was created by Lucifer himself in collaboration with the Devil and the Grinch and Bezelbub. And I'm pretty sure Donald Trump has something to do with Jack in the Box too. You like Popeye pizza? Really? That crust ain't even real. You know how to formulate that crust in order to cook fast in that trash microwave, easy bake oven? And that's just not Popeye. That's Blaze pizza. That's Mod pizza. All of them places is trash. Ain't even real crust. I don't even know what it is. But since you eat Jack in the Box, it all makes sense, Angie. I still love you, though. I still love you. Oh, word. I got my Hulu with my Disney Plus and ESPN. Y'all know Disney Plus going up. I mean, yeah. It's about to go up to $9.99 for the commercial free. Then they got to $7.99. Man, these streaming services be tripping. Hey. Hey, Davey. Hey, guess what? I'm in America. Almost everything is named after a racist. Pretty much every street I go down, a lot of cities, I have already come to terms with that, sir. But that's a good tidbit. I'm glad to know. With that being said, was Popeye the Sailor also a racist? Now that would shock me. Because Popeye looked like he was pretty cool. That's what I would be hurt on. But now I'm thinking about it. Wasn't no black people in Popeye's commercials. I mean cartoons. So, dang it, man. Dang it, my dreams. Dang it, Dave Scott. What is it, Dave Scott 19? Yeah, man, they be going up on us, dude. And I had got rid of cable, like, for real life, like, mm, how long ago? A good 2011. Probably earlier than that. Because I've been just downloading stuff off of torrents and stuff. I was a pirate bay gangster back in the day. But the streaming services just made it so much easier to just stream it. Instead of downloading it. Be honest though, I still be torn in some stuff. The French Connection, is that a movie or that's a real life um uh occursion, Dave? Look at Dave coming through with the history lesson for us for the 99 2000. See, y'all can even learn something on this channel. <laughs> Hey, Aaron say Popeye was, um, Popeye was, uh, uh, what's the name of that movie? What's the name of that movie that, uh, comedian did where he was white and he wanted to be a rapper? Y'all know what the movie I'm talking about. Uh, somebody tell me that movie name. Hey, Ralph. Hey, it's worth the trip. And I'm mad they didn't give me the turf. Alright, so as... I mean, it's Popeye's, right? So, of course, it got demolished. This so good, I want to eat the tails. And, fun fact, I used to eat the, the shrimp tails, too. I'm, I'm, I'm down there doing it right now. Because they don't kill you. And if they fry right, if the bread is right on the, on the shrimp tail, it still tastes delicious. Just fun fact. All right. Now it's time for this banana cream pudding. Mine and Aaron, I was telling them that you had did a review on this earlier. You actually prompted me to go to Popeye's because I was going to do a calzone from Schlosky's, but I don't even like Schlosky's bread, okay? I still might do it, but, man. Malibu's most wanted. That's who Popeye's was. Man. See, I be trying to tell folks, most movies is based on reality. Well, 
Except for the Marvel stuff. I'ma check it out. I'ma check it out. Is it better than Friday? That's what I wanna know. Hey, did y'all go see um did y'all go see uh Top Gun Maverick? Is it better than that? That's like in my top three best movies ever. Now, well, okay, not top three, but top 15 for sure. All right, but here we go. This is banana cream with, this looks like yellow cake. Is this yellow cake? Man, I gotta fix this contrast. This is too bright. Is this eating banana, uh, banana cake? I mean, vanilla cake. Cake. What you thought of this? Y'all go to mine, um, mine and Aaron's YouTube channel right now. Well, after you get off this live and go watch his review of the banana cream plop, the pop. Please do. I'm about to taste mine now. Who know those trace? Mmm. Wow. Wow. Let me tell y'all why I'm messing with this. And I'm going to tell y'all why this is getting my patented 10 out of 10. I would definitely get again rating, okay? The cake, I'm not sure if it's yellow cake, but it might, it's probably banana cake. This banana cream pie on that, this banana cream on the top is nice and cool and cold. The cake itself is moist and delicioso. It's okay, only 300 calories too, so it ain't that bad. Already, mom. Mom, Aaron is like an OG. Like, he was the first person that ever, like, commented on our videos, I want to say. So, shout out to you, Aaron. I appreciate you. Kept us going even in the dark times. Which is still kind of dark times now, because I got to be honest. Doing lives is way easier than uploading videos, but videos get way more views than lives. But I don't care. I like talking to y'all. Yes, it's like a whip top. It's like a whip topping. It's real light too. It's not heavy. This is like a whipped cream. It's a banana cream. This is just banana cream. This is really. This is really good. It's really good. This cake is just. This is really good. Dave, I can't. I would never desecrate this with the chocolate syrup. First off, I gotta be honest, we got store brand chocolate syrup here. Not the Hershey's. And you can taste the difference. It's kind of waterier. But second of all, I gotta be honest. I think that would put this. This cake would be, if I put chocolate right here on some real stuff, Dave. This will be more like a Boston cream pop. If I did that. Because it's on the edge. You get the banana. But if it was just a little bit more vanilla in this would be a Boston cream pop. But I love. When I tell you I love Boston cream pop. I love it. And I think the chocolate would make this taste like Boston cream pop. Man. I told y'all I wasn't even hungry, but for real though, Aaron, this was fine. Like, this is something I, I gotta get before they, you know, I'm assuming it's seasonal too. They need to stop doing seasonal stuff, man. When stuff good, just keep it. But you wanna know why they don't? Because the restaurant I hate used to have a bloated, and they probably still do, menu. You know the rest that you know that name of that place? It's called Jack in the Box. I remember they used to have like sandwiches. How you gonna be a fast food place to have a sandwich? I'm not going to no fast food place for a sandwich unless you called Subway, and I don't even count a place that doesn't have, if all your locations don't have a drive through window, you're not even fast food, you slow food. Which is equivalent to no food. I'm gonna be real honest with y'all. I wish I had got two of these. 
This right here. Wow. This whole meal. Popeyes. Yo, y'all did it. I'm thoroughly, I was not hungry at all, okay? Not hungry at all. And this was delicious. I want to go get the, I want to go get the turf version now. So probably tomorrow, cause Chunky gonna be upset that I did this, cause Chunky loves Popeye shrimp. Oh boy, she loves it. I'm, we probably gonna come be back on here tomorrow for the part two for the turf, the, the actual chicken. Let me see if they had chicken. My Linda Ivy, what is wrong with you? How are you, your beautiful face coming up with these ugly, dirty words? How? Oh, there's no chocolate stuff on here. That was just the bottom of the cake. Which lets me know that that was an actual, real life, like, baked cake. That was just the bottom of the cake. So, I don't know if they baked this in this, in this. They had to do something. Maybe they baked the cake in here. Cause you know they be making the microwavable cakes. Have y'all had the mud cakes from Duncan Hines? Them things be fire. Them things be delicioso fire. Man, yo, y'all need to get the Popeyes. Popeyes did it. Popeyes did that. It was delicioso. This is a 10 out of 10, must recommend. We'll go back again. Please tell a friend, meal, that Popeyes just dropped on us. Like, for real. And this seasonal, I'm really hurt. How long has this been seasonal? Anybody know? Because these are years of my life. Now that I've experienced this, I have pure regret of not, not only not knowing about it, but not eating it back then. This was delicious. All right, guys. Ah. Thank you for joining me for another delicious meal. Popeyes, please, guys, get out there and get it. It's delicious. Like the video if you're still here and you got some fingers. Please hit that like button for me. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'm about to go and, uh, well, Melinda, I'm about to call you because it's Kate's on. And then I'm going to go walk off. This crap that I just ate. All right. We'll be back tomorrow for part two where I think they got a chicken version. So, especially if they don't, if we don't pop back up, I'm going to hit y'all up on the community tab. But if they got, let me double check to make sure they got the um, chicken version of this. Hold on. Chicken, hush, puppy. Uh, what is this called? This is Popeyes. Popeyes. All right. Mm. Oh, I had downloaded the app. Do not track me. They want my address. Man, I do not want to do all of this right now, Popeyes. I got people that's slowly but surely leaving. Okay, let's see. Uh, offers. Man, I didn't use the app. I bet you I got some coupons in here. Okay, Hush Puppy Shrimp. I could have swore I saw a Hush Puppy Turf. Like they had, um, they had the, whatchamacallit. Um, feature items. Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get the turf. So it's not in the hush puppy sauce. The 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 whatchamacallit is just a shrimp. Man, they could have changed the game if they had made hush puppy uh chicken tenders. But no. They had to keep it just on the shrimp. But like I said, it was delicious. Y'all should go out there and get it. <sighs> right, Dave. They can grow everything else except for cake. Dirty bastards. No, it was just that good, Virtuous Woman. And I stopped partaking in those type of activities decades ago, especially if my job is watching. All right. Well, once again, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mugbang Quality Time. 
I hope you guys get out to Popeyes and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy this delicious meal. And we'll see you Friday for whatever meal I can scratch up. Really ain't nothing new out here, man. Nothing is new. It is dry out in these fast food streets, man. I might just start. Hey, I got a real question for everybody in here. If I just start doing lives and be talking about other stuff, would y'all watch it? Because there'd be other stuff to talk about outside of food. It's hard to bring, find new food when it's dry out here. Would y'all stay? Let me know. If you would stay, put a heart in the comments, okay? Please. We on a probably like 30 second delay or 15 second delay, which sucks. Because I say something and then I got to wait a long time to hear y'all say something. So, let's, um, let's see if, uh... If anybody would actually say, and see everybody left because I said goodbye. <laughs> I ain't gonna even get to answer my question. Okay, then we can talk about movies. Hey, hey, most definitely. You know what? Hey, did any one of y'all see? Um, did y'all see what's the name of that new Brad Pitt movie? Me and Junior went to go see it the other day. It's called. Um, some bullet train that movie was very entertaining anybody see it hey life was short oh my Linda. come here boy this will be my um, movie review guest too he saw bullet train it was super great hey let's talk about it for a little bit but we gonna give y'all the spoilers free uh watch out for this right quick Come on. Well, you know what? I'm going to just sit in here. You sit right here. Alright. It's just my look. It'll pull the cable out. We'll get disconnected. So, how was your first day of high school, bro? Good. Was it fun? A little bit. Not really. I guess. Did you learn something new? No. Did you have any uh, cute girls in your class? All of them? Well, actually, no. I wouldn't say they were ugly, but... No, I'm a type. Huh? Stay away from all of them, boy. Stay in them books and your mind off them girls. So, Bullet Train was a fantastic movie. Sponsored by Popeyes. Yes, sponsored by Popeyes. Starring Brad Pitt and the all-star cast of other riffraff who play assassins on a bullet train that are there for assassination reasons, which we cannot go into because it was spoiled. But, but it was funny. It was, it was very true. funny. Joke after joke after joke after joke. Now, I personally fell asleep on the first half because it was a lot of dialogue in the first half. But after the first half, soon as the middle hit, it's nothing but action and jokes and surprising twists and turns through the rest of the movie. Yeah. What was your favorite scene without spoiling anything? Probably. You got to have to talk up, sir. I'm trying to think. Uh, probably... I don't know I really can't like say a certain scene. I kind of just like the movie in general. Mm, my favorite scene was the scene where um, it's this teddy bear and but it's a grown teddy bear and a mascot and like it does something it has to attack some people and that was a pretty good scene. A surprising scene. I don't think I spoiled anything because the teddy bear was in there the whole Trailer. time. Yes, it was in the trailer too. Junior is in uh, what grade? You in? Ninth. He is in ninth grade. How far is on that? All right. And so now he can cost me and his mother more money. So yeah, you gonna do a TV show, a movie review, and reaction videos with me? Cause and guess what? Like I said, I've been gaining so much weight doing this thing. I love eating food and stuff, but I be eating when I want to. No more. So, yeah, we're going to do some stuff. And uh, we might change the name of the channel. I ain't sure. And uh, Chunky got a lot of stuff on her plate, too. So, I don't know if she's going to be here all the time. I don't know if he's going to be here all the time. I might just take over the whole channel by myself. And they just be featured every once in a while. Who knows? If y'all stick around, though, that will be great. All right. Well, I'm about to get off the phone for real now. Not off the phone. Off the live. See you guys later. Bye.